My name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome all the subscribers. Welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe and thank you for your support. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1896, the Olympic Games were held for the first time after a short break of 1,500 years. The Games were held in their traditional home of Athens. Though thankfully the new rules didn't require competitors to compete in the bath, as the ancient Greeks did. So the ancient Greeks competed in the Olympics nude. Oh my god, you learn something new every day, don't you? <laughs> right guys, Alexa, what's the time please? It's 9.10am. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Thursday the 6th of April. What's the weather like? Currently, in Rochester it's 10 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect cloudy skies with a high of 13 degrees and a low of 3 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Have you heard about the time the Mona Lisa was arrested for murder? It turned out she'd been framed. Too close for comfort. Alexa, what are the Easter bunnies doing? The Easter bunny is a fluffy rabbit who hops about delivering chocolate eggs at spring time. So guys, back to yesterday. Fortunately, there was no, uh, I think the takeaway uh, saga has stopped. Ian texted me last night and Ian texted me this morning and there's been no no trouble so far so I'm just keeping an eye on things um, just friendly banter he starts the conversation good morning gorgeous which as I said one of my exes used to say that to me <coughs> 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 they would come up to my flat and say hello gorgeous so I'm keeping an eye on things I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain it's one of my exes keeping an eye on me um, so last night um, I went out it was fairly dark it was getting on towards um, <coughs> half past seven and it was starting to rain so I just I was dressed casually because um, I feel hot all the time. That's just me. That's what, it is getting warmer anyway. So I started walking out of the rear of the flats and it started to rain. Rain. Walked around Common Creek Wharf. There was a lot of people about last night. A lot, which I'm grateful for, because when you feel depressed and down, because I filled in an e consult form telling the doctor all about my depression and the way I'm feeling. So I was grateful there was people about last night. Walked around Common Creek Wharf um, and there was a lot of people. People sat down on a bench. So I just walked around. I did about two circuits. So I walked around the flats once and then I walked back around. When I came back, it was very very busy there was guys walking dogs around the bottom uh, there was a, a woman outside the flats foreign with a boy with a blue hoodie over his head so so when i was coming back to my flats there was a, a small child with a blue hoodie over his head and a foreign woman and i recognized them from living in these flats, uh, a round, bald-headed guy shouted out the window to obviously his partner. She must have been his partner. Um, so I walked around again uh, briefly um, because 
Max. Um, he's a, he's a, a strange dog, he's, he's very protective. So I, I walked around the flat again and when I came back um, there was a dead boat, bird in the road, a dead, dead pigeon or seagull was parked by a blue car, a small blue car, and its head was decapitated. And there was blood where, obviously, I don't know whether some, I don't know how it got its head cut off, but its head had been ripped from its body and there was blood exposed all over its chest area by a small blue car opposite. And it made me feel sick, it scared me. Dead bird, look. Some people call women birds. Some men call women birds. There was a dead bird on the road with its head decapitated, cut off. Blood all over its feathers. And I've taken pictures of it for evidence because I believe someone is trying to frighten the shit out of me. So I took a picture of it. That's the second bird in two weeks where there's been, it's been decapitated. The head's been cut off the bird's body and it's been left in the road. Um, somebody is feeding the fox down this road. They're feeding a fox. Fox is vermin. A fox um, carries germs and fox, a fox can spread rabies. And if you get bitten by a fox, you're going to need a tetanus injection. So someone is feeding the fox and the fox is coming down the road in broad daylight where children are. It's a wild fox, but it's someone's like making it like a pet. They're petting it, they're giving it food. So that is what a fox can do, bite a bird's head off. Um, so I came home to a dead bird in the road with its head cut off and a kid with a hood over his head so it looked like witchcraft didn't it a woman with a little boy and he was going around the flats with a hood over his head and there was a dead bird in the road I'm only saying what I saw gets back into the flats and I feel physically sick, I feel ill. I don't feel scared, I feel ill because that policeman that came into my flat said there's nothing to worry about Crystal. So, so he probably knew all this is fake. It's all fake, look. Well, why, why did he say don't worry Crystal? Like there's no danger. Well, as I said in a previous video, it might, he might know there's no danger, but when I come home to a decapitated bird, and, and like, it, it, it does feel like somebody's intimidating me, frightening me, and I don't know what for. And it's not the first time it's happened. I have had a skull put in the lift when I've come back from the hospital from a blood transfusion. Somebody thought that was a funny joke to put a skull's head into the communal lift. And I've had a funeral plan sent to my address but my mum says she has had that as well so my mum Jennifer has had also had a funeral plan sent to her address so at the moment police are telling me there's nothing to worry about so I've got no option to but, but to carry on as if there's nothing to worry about um, I came into my flat and I do what I normally do. Um, I watch the TV, I put the box on, which is normally accident and emergency, A and E. Um, it was all crime, because I like true crime stories. And Fred West was on the TV last night. Fred West, uh, the paedophile from Gloucestershire. 
was on, on, the, on the TV, Fred West, an incestuous paedophile, wasn't he, along with his wife Rosemary, who is still in prison. For, I mean, she aided, abetted and joined in with Fred West's abuse on his daughters. So I watched that. Um, there was a Mr Ogden, a Mr Ogden narrating that. Mr Ogden, O-G-D-E-N, Ogden. Then I went on to crime, um, Crimes by the Sea. And there was a man in a wheelchair um, who was claiming benefits, saying that he needed a wheelchair when he didn't. And he murdered his wife because he was jealous that she was starting to go out and get a life. And he was jealous of his wife, so he stabbed her in the neck. He stabbed her 15 times and left a knife in her neck. Jealous of her. She was starting to go out. She was starting to go to line dance classes. Uh, and spread, again, she realised that her marriage was ending and it wasn't working, so she was going to, and starting to get a life for herself, making friends. Uh, and her jealous husband killed her, stabbed her to death 15 times. When you report things to the police, you don't report them because it's a silly joke. You report them because it's serious. And every little thing, especially in a domestic violence case, where I was to, told to report every little crime, um, is, it, it is important, right? It, it's important that the police take every little thing seriously because stalkers kill, online stalkers kill. You know, we've got someone here that is obsessed with myself, right? They're obsessed with me every single day. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, beautiful. Hello, pretty. I like your eyes. When my dad died, he didn't have any eyes. They sewed his eyes up. And this person is scaring me to death. They're scaring me to death. And when I... I said to the police that the voice was Scottish, Scottish, and I said, I, she might have thought I sounded mad, but I said, people can change their voices if they've got an iPhone, they can, you can change your voice to a different ethnicity, you can change your voice to a Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool accent. If you go through the apps on an iPhone especially, you can get voice changers. And this is how these criminals get away with it. And the SIM cards keep changing the, the, the phone number. I mean, this happened in Gloucestershire as well. But somebody showed me how they did it. They had about 50 or 60 different SIM cards. And they would put a SIM card in the phone, use that, and then when they'd done their job, they'd take that out and put another one in. And then when they think they're getting caught, they dispose of the phone and go and buy another one. The police can't trace them, you see. Anyway, so I managed to eventually get to sleep. But obviously, seeing a decapitated dead bird full of blood um, kept me for a, awake for a bit. <laughs> There's kids running up and down the road past it. But it's got on that sign, don't touch dead birds, bird flu, avian food, flu. So I wasn't going anywhere near it myself. That is what happens when you befriend foxes. That is what happens. Foxes kill. They're predators. They eat meat. They're not pets. They're not pets. I mean, the woman's got a cat. 
she's got a cat, why is she trying to be friendly with a fox? And in fact, uh, that lady was outside my balcony last night with a very, very bright torch, flashing it up, going underneath the balcony, flashing it up, and she's got a buzzer. Um, she walks her cat, she takes her cat for a walk, and she buzzes it. She, she, when it's, I mean, cats aren't meant to go for a walk like a dog, are they? And I've said very often that, you know, be careful, you or your cat's going to get run over. Wandering in the road, walking with cats. It's bad enough when you're walking a dog, but you've got a dog on a lead. The cat is loose. It's walking around loose. And she's walking in the middle of the road. So she was shining a, a really, really bright fluorescent torch before I went out. She was walking up and down underneath the balcony before I went out last night, this lady, shining a very bright torch up at the balcony. And I just filled a doctor's form in saying I'd suffer from headaches. I'm suffering from depression and headaches. And I've got a woman wandering up and down the balcony in a pitch black, shining a bright fluorescent torch up. It's weird. This place is weird. It, it's really strange. Um, I've got someone asking me what I'm doing today. You don't tell people what you're doing. You don't, I don't tell them what I'm doing, where I'm going. Um, I don't know. Uh, the weather's it was raining last night and damp and wet. Um, so, but but um, we'll see what happens today. I do believe someone is trying to frighten me to stay indoors. I do believe that. It's not just gone on here. When I first came down from Chatham, when I first came down from Gloucester to Gloucestershire to Chatham. It's like he's coughing upstairs. He's coughing as I'm trying to speak. It's putting me off. So I, um, when I came down from Gloucestershire to Chatham, I didn't have a YouTube channel. I didn't have a YouTube channel. I didn't have social media when I came down to Chatham in 2008. And someone threw a rabbit's head over my mum and dad's garden. It was a cut off rabbit's head. And they were also bombarding my mum and dad's landline phone with messages. It's a sick individual that needs help. They're not well. Um, they were just leaving frightening messages and nursery rhymes. You know, like some of these serial killers, they, they, they leave they leave a sign on the body, so they might cut a cross in the body they've just murdered. Or they leave something at the body's side. Or they do something that makes their mark. So that they'll leave a mark so, so that, they, that the police know it's them that's done that murder. Well, the, when I came down from Gloucestershire to Chatham, this... This person that was frightening me to death was leaving riddles. Riddles. There was one in French, so I had to go, go online in the library to translate it. They left me a poem in French, and I, I had to go to the library to translate it. They're an intelligent person. They're intelligent. They're, they're, I believe they're upper class and they're intelligent. Um, they were leaving me like Yankee Doodle Dandy with all different words in it. Um, and the ladybird, 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 fly away home. Your house is on fire. Your children are gone. And that's, they were frightening me with that. I'd lost my kids. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on fire. Your children are gone. They were taunting me with that. In 2008, they were taunting me with that. I mean, this person is 20... I'm 
20 years older. So they must be 20 years older as well. And they cannot leave it alone. They cannot leave it. He is coughing upstairs. Because normally, the last time he did that, I went out down Rochester High Street and cars like his were parked on Rochester High Street pavement. Last time he did it, I went out. He thinks that's going to get me out of the flat, and it's not. It's, it, it's, um, I'm not going to do anything bad, I'm afraid. He keeps coughing. He thinks he knows me, but he doesn't. I'm not going to go outside and, and do bad things. It's just cars like his parked all over the pavement. They're parked on the pavement. It's like unreal. Last time he pissed me off, I went outside and I didn't have a pleasant experience doing shopping, so I'm not doing it again. I'm not listening to him. It's childish. It's like a big baby. won't leave me alone. We've had all the takeaways, the men got told to go away, I've got videos to show the police that I told them to go away, there was witnesses. It's a sick pervert. Anyway, forget that, I'm getting on with the rest of my day. Um, uh, I hope everyone else has a lovely Easter weekend. Um, but for me, until the police find out who's actually doing this, it's not going to stop. They'll find something else to do to annoy me. See you later.